the incredible YouTube creator and filmmaker Swoop just released such a powerful video right now about mental health and dealing with anxiety and depression. And boy, do we need to talk about it. What is up everybody? It's Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you are new to my channel, my channel is all about helping you out with your mental health. Something I like to do is pull from different YouTubers and different topics and try to teach you what you can do to improve your mental health. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. Like, I make so many videos, this is my second video today, but I'm just so inspired because the YouTube community is talking about mental health, and I think that there's some things that you could definitely learn from Swoop's video, all right? But anyways, let me catch you up to speed. So those of you who don't know who Swoop is, she had another YouTube channel that was almost at like 600K viewers, and uh, something happened, there was this YouTube, problem it was this weird bolt of lightning that they call it and her channel was getting no more views people couldn't see it so she made this new channel called swoop and it's her journey of recreating this thing i'm like man she puts in so much effort she is such an awesome filmmaker but anyways go check her channel out and i will link to her new video down below like she's talking about her struggles with anxiety and depression this is such a powerful video because she gets so vulnerable and she she's a great storyteller too and she's talking about how sometimes we feel like we always need to be okay and be perfect and all these other things. But one of the things she did was she actually documented herself having a panic attack. And you know, one of the reasons that she did this was so she can learn from it and see what she can do to maybe calm it down and acknowledge these things. And this is huge. Like, I'm not saying that all of you should record your own panic attacks or anything like that, but when you are in a dark headspace, it does help to write things down. Like, this is why a journal is so, so, so important. It's important to write down your thoughts and see what's going on. Sometimes just letting it out helps to decrease the anxiety and depression. Like I know for me personally, when I write and when I journal and things like that, I can see that these thoughts are not part of me. They are not just me, this is not my full identity. There's this thing called non-identification, and I'm gonna talk more about that in just a second, but it's about separating you from your mental illness, or separating yourself from that negative voice in your head. The one that's saying that you're not good enough, or there's these things to worry about, and all sorts of stuff. It's so important to separate yourself from that and have a conversation, okay? Now, Something that Swoop also documented was that she called her mom. Like, yes, 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 girl, yes. Like, this is something that I've been talking about a ton to all of you, like, reach out and ask for help. It doesn't matter, like, I, I know I, I suggest that you guys, you know, try therapy, like, it is important to work with a professional because sometimes people who try to help us, you know, they don't know how to help, but it sounds like Swoop, if you see this girl, tell your mom, she's awesome. Like, her mom was great during this, like, if you need a lesson on how to help somebody during a panic attack, listen to what Swoop's mom was telling her, and boom, like, that's how it's done. Just reassuring, letting her know, you know, uh, that she is amazing, she's great, and all these other things, and that that's just the negative voice in her head. So, the second thing to take from Swoop's video is reach out and call somebody when you're going through this. Let them know that you're not doing okay. So, something that her mom also said, and Swoop kind of came to that realization, was that, like, she would never, ever in her life, be as down on somebody else as she is on herself. And absolutely, absolutely, like, I know I talk to you guys a lot about meditation, but there's an amazing type of meditation called loving kindness. And not only does it help, you know, build more compassion and empathy towards the rest of the world, but it's also to ourselves. I made a video a long time ago when I had like less than a thousand subscribers. I'm gonna link it up here. It's a guided meditation about self-compassion and self-love. And you really need to check it out. It can help you get out of that negative headspace because basically what this meditation is, is that you take those loving kindness feelings that you would project onto maybe your son or your daughter or your aunt animal, like a cat or a dog, or your friends, or your family, and then you switch it and you focus it on yourself. And it helps to retrain your brain to be a little bit nicer to yourself. But something that Swoop did at the, the end of this video is something that each one of you can do. Buy a journal for a dollar, I beg of you, all right? What she did at the end of this video was she wrote a letter to you, but it was really for herself, too. This is a great, 
great writing exercise. Like how would you treat someone else who's going through this? How would you treat someone who thinks that they're not good enough, that they're not pretty enough or handsome enough? What would you tell them, all right? Write those things down. And I hope Swoop took this, ripped it out of her journal and put it right up on her like bathroom mirror or her nightstand or something. Like this can be very, very therapeutic. And I highly recommend that you all do this. And Swoop is on a, a mission since she had to recreate her channel. She's been doing collabs with other people. By the way, Swoop, if you see this, I'm always down to collab. Let's talk about mental health together. But anyway, she's trying to do some good things in the community and help build up other small creators and stuff. So like, I do commend her for that, as well as all the hard work. Like when I see, ooh, when I see this girl and her editing skills and her filmmaking, and her filmmaking skills, like I am just like, I'm jealous, I'm jealous. I wish I had that type of artistic vision and things like that. But anyways, I will link her video down below, but let me, Let's do this, let's do this in the comments section. Like, what do you do when you're having an anxiety attack? What helps you? Do you reach out for help? Do you journal? What do you do? Do you keep a mood journal? By the way, real quick, I'm gonna mention mood journals real quick. Document your moods, document your days. The reason why this is important is because when you're having a bad day, you can go back and say, oh, not every day is bad. This helps your brain remember that none of these feelings, none of these emotions will last forever, all right? But let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments below. Let me know what your coping skills are, okay? But that's all I got for you. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, please be sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton, a ton of mental health videos to help you out, all right? And a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon, helping me spread a message of hope. And if you wanna check out some more videos, click or tap right there. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.